All right, guys, what is up? It is 1246 uh, going in the Easter Sunday, and here I am about to flash this 034 85 file for the first time. Just went out and did a bunch of draggy runs um, on the 93 file. Got a best of like 1151. If you guys saw in the last video, this is just a continuation of the same night. So we're gonna hop over here to this guy. Uh, that's where I pay. I'm surprised they even have somebody here at this hour. This is like a weird little pump they got here. We're gonna fill her up. I have no idea what the E content is, but the local E85 page said it was decent here. Otherwise, I gotta go like 45 minutes south or like another half hour from here. I'm already half hour from home, so. Got my coffee. All right, well, I guess let's pull out the laptop, flash this tune, fill up the tank, and go for a drive. And all of her dirty glory. Beautiful gal. I'm so excited for this. You guys have no idea. Been waiting for E85 for so long. Yes. And I can't believe how well their stage one tune is doing. Compared to stock, this is like, this is crazy. If you guys have a Mark 8 and you can tune your car, especially if you can tune your TCU, you're sleeping. If you don't do it, so. Over here. Mm. I just kissed it by accident. <laughs> All right, there we go. We've got the Crocs in four wheel drive. Ah, smell that sweet American corn juice. Let's go. All right, I gotta take a few pictures to make this uh, make this legit. boys we put in how many gallons it take 12 four so we'll do the math assuming that it's e80 i'll hop into the app and calculate it while the car's flashing but it should be a damn good mix i think anything over e60 is what it's really aiming for anyway it's not like it has a flex sensor so they got to make it safe in all scenarios and i don't know where you guys keep your uh what you call it? Your draggy, but I keep mine there. I'm going up to like 160 in that baby stage right there. The magnet's pretty dang strong. All right, guys, here we go. I'm ready. Connecting there. Hood's open. It's almost one in the morning. Yeah, we'll reset that beach. Let's go here. With the full power. There we go. There she starts. Sixteen seconds. Take me home. Boom. Eighty five for vision one. Let's go. All right, guys. About twenty minutes later of just taking it easy on the car just going through the gears haven't done a pull yet this will be the first pull i've been trying to kind of find new roads while you know there's not much traffic this this time of day so this road looks pretty all right get over into this lane kind of bothersome having all these lights on but ready we'll uh third gear four thousand
I'm still spinning. Jeez Louise. 1.79. 11.38 at 121. Not bad at all. Man, I almost really want to hop out and put the drop these tire pressures down like even more to like 23. If I could just get it to not spin. Man. That's awesome though. That's freaking sick. Stage one. What? What? All right, guys. We're off off of uh, asphalt on the cement. Let's see how this goes. trap so 130 at 122 that's awesome 132.37 well you guys got it up there so 728 nice and this is just stage one that is so cool the da is perfect tonight it really is for this it's gonna be a great night to get a 10 second run uh, we just need uh man we just had a stickier tire or a little bit more more push on the top end or something. I don't know. I'm not saying this is bad by any means. I'm just saying just, just to get a 10. That guy out in Romania, he got a 10.98 with like, uh, I wish I knew. He, but he trapped 124. So he must got a lot of low end grind or something. I don't know if he did it on the street or what. Oh, and that, that was just an auto mode. We weren't even in dynamic. Dang. The suspension's a little bit more stiff and dynamic. The suspension's a little bit more stiff and dynamic. This thing is sick. Let me put this back in auto mode. Get me out of trash control. My God, just normal driving. This is my normal mode, which is auto. Oh, so we're coming to a light. Perfect, gives us time. Dang, this is 11.54. Huh. Well, we gotta play around. I guess it just does not like that surface there. That cement is not good. And obviously the, whatchamacallit, the asphalt's better. 176, 60 foot, 3.43, zero to 60. See, I think at some point that the, 30. we really need to find a happy medium of the tire pressure. Anyway, you guys can analyze that. See, I got a 122 earlier, it's 119. I got a 93 tune that did better than that. It's just, That car almost hit me. Good Lord. Quarter mile. Anyway, this thing is smooth as hell. The C85 file, I've only been, I've been mostly beating on it than anything. I've already used about a quarter tank of fuel. And, uh, well, I really, really like it. We're going to have to see what it really feels like daily driving to, from work, you know, here, Half there, mile. everywhere. That's what really counts is, is how daily drivable the tune is and that 93 tune is awesome and i don't expect this to be any less smooth by any means just a little more power on tap a little worse gas mileage of course because it's e85 it takes about 30 percent more fuel to uh to power the car really um man sorry guys it's 221 in the morning i'll just uh i'll get back to you guys later this week i'll give it a couple days this video is not coming out till thursday this is saturday night so i've already got to be able to give you guys a better um, idea of what's going on and maybe we can go out on a slightly warmer night and uh, maybe have better 
better luck with traction. Just listen to how smooth this thing is. It's induction noise. 30. Mile. It's damn draggy. How nice the downshifts are. I wish you guys could like just feel how good this is. Mile. Shout out to DBV2. This huge velocity stack intake is just the bee's knees. Alright, I'm about home. We'll update you guys later. invalid because of the slope. Is the slope up or down? Minus 154. I don't know what to do with this data. The last one was going up. Well, guys, it's safe to say this tune gets freaking down. Like, I mean, it's ambient temp right now, about 75 mile an hour, or mile an hour, 75 degrees. Draghi says 72, car says 74, phone says 75, whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, this thing is just, you get on the highway here and quit talking. You guys hear that intake singing? some daytime runs when the road would be warmer but it's just putting I guess so much torque down that it, it wants to spin them just enough but I'm getting better 60 foots at night when it's colder than when it is hotter I, I aired these down to 28 that way I wouldn't be you know too weird on the road with a 30 minute drive home here after work but man like I don't know really just I guess what I need to do is get to the drag strip Aaron, the last time I tried to go it got rained out, and I don't think they rescheduled it. I need to double check. But either way, this tune's doing great. I mean, I mean, 122 going downhill, 120 going uphill. What's the median there? One, 121. So 121 on a stage one tune, fully 85. Like that's that's awesome to me. And then this seriously, the daily driving. I keep saying it over and over. This thing is just it's it's so smooth. That it's addicting. Like I just, I want to keep driving because it's it's soothing to like I don't know the back of my brain. Like every time it shifts, just it's so good. It's so smooth. <laughs> it's, I 
Oh, it sounds like an ad. It doesn't. I swear to God, it's not paid for. <laughs> um, I've been a big 034 fan. I've been a huge Racing Line fan. Like, I love these guys. And I would tell you if it's shit. I swear to God, I would tell you guys if something was shit. And it isn't. It really isn't. It's awesome. Um, man, I, I really don't even know what to say. You need to drive it yourself. And that's one thing to look forward to in the upcoming videos. Um, I got like two other videos. I want to do like a full tune review. I'm sure you guys more like city driving and stuff. Review on those uh, these coil packs. And then uh, this weekend I'm getting three or four of my buddies. One guy has a, a 8V S3 with 034. Another guy EQT tuned. Uh, GTI, uh, Eurodyne tuned, A3 with an IS38, and then uh, a BMW guy who just swapped from a, uh, I think he's got a 340 now, and he just came from a Mark 8 uh, GTI with a six speed manual that I think was 0342. So I'm gonna get all those guys together this weekend, have them all drive the car with me, and give have them give you their opinion. That way you're not just relying on me. It's uh, I think that's like a, a good fair way. Let them launch the car, let them do some highway pulls, try and find some curvy roads for them to fuel out the suspension and the way I got it set up. It's not perfect. I still need to make some adjustments. It really needs coilovers. My strut tops are blown. My rear end links are pretty crap. I've had them in there for a long time. They're pretty rusted out from all the salt and years of you know debris and stuff. And then the front, one of my front end links, the, the boot's torn. So I got a couple things that need refreshed. Definitely need cool overs um, sooner than later, but I'm gonna let them go out, beat on the car. Should be a really fun video to make. Kind of inspired by, uh, if you guys watch Fresh Kicks, how he, uh, some supporters of his bought merch and then he took them out for a ride. Well, these guys didn't buy anything, but uh, I just want their opinion on, on the tune and, and the way the car is set up. Um, the second opinion or third or fourth or fifth opinion is always great to hear feedback. Make sure none of this is all just in my head. And uh, yeah, I don't know. That's all I got for now. We look out for the, the full, I'm gonna give a full review on the, the tunes. I know you guys just really want to see Draggy runs. Now I'm just ranting. So be on the lookout for more stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you. 30, 9, 9.30 at night on Wednesday. I'm about to go edit this so you guys can see it in the morning. Uh, I don't even need to point it at this. I'll just show you guys a screenshot. Uh, 11.27 at 121.9. So almost 122 with a 17.360 now being my record. Oh my gosh, it's upside down. Edit. Now being my record 60 foot on the street. We're down to 25 PSI. And what I've been going back and forth with today after work and talking with Sean at 034 and stuff it seems like my best runs are on auto mode so you have like the different modes in the screen I think that the dynamic which would be sport I guess for the golfs or whatever the uh, struts are too stiff for the way my suspension set up I have race line springs but I have all the bushings in my my uh, my subframes and my arms, everything is either spherical or solid. So I have a lot of the stuff taken out of the car. And I think uh, the struts being that stiff is just making the car too stiff. And maybe it's like bouncing a little bit, like taking the weight off the front end or something somewhere causing me to spin more. Now I know for sure, cause I, I thought I kind of remembered my 1118 run being um, in auto mode and then doing runs after that and it being like slightly slower because I was like, oh, auto or uh, dynamic mode will be even quicker. I did the same thing Saturday night. I, you guys, I'll play the clip again here. Um, oh, and that that was just an auto mode. We weren't even in dynamic. Dang. Um, I did 11:30 and it was like, oh, and it wasn't even in dynamic mode. Let me put it. And then after that, I just ran worse. So I think that dynamic mode, for some reason, is messing me up. But I think I got it figured out now between 
all the things. And I can still take more. I, I do have the back seats out right now. So that's one thing I didn't have Saturday night. But it's only, I weighed them. I think it's 63 pounds. Yeah, 63 pounds. And so I can still take off the uh, track bar on the Verkline subframe. There's like an extra bar that goes across the subframe that weighs, I don't know, probably eight or so pounds. I could take out this seat still. I could take the filter off the velocity stack. So this isn't like a full out run. I was gonna take the, the filter off, but I was like, no, not tonight. I don't feel like doing all that. But hey, um, 1120s on a stage one tune. Hell yeah, brother. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Drop a thumbs up. Shout out to 034. Um, like I'm completely satisfied. I could I could run this for forever, uh, but just the thing, this is just a stage one. Like there's a stage two coming. There's more power to come, and I couldn't be more for it. <laughs> I'm like I'm shocked right now. This is awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the full reviews uh, of the tunes. You know, this is mostly just drag racing shit, but I do want to go over uh, more of how it actually drives day to day and how oh, the shifting is so smooth with the hearing shifting you're hearing right now is sport mode so it's like it gets even better just this regular driving around is so buttery smooth not that this isn't but like it's rubbing out higher you know anyway i'm right now this video is probably forever again thanks for watching guys see you in the next one